Hi, John Valvano here. In this last video, I'm going to demonstrate all of my uh, all of my Lab 8. Okay, and before I go over to the hardware, I want to show you one thing I've done to my cystic handler, and that is I have added a heartbeat which toggles uh, PF1 every um, every sample which occurs at 100 uh, milliseconds or 10 hertz. And what I've done is I've connected PF1 to PD3, which is the Texas oscilloscope. Okay, so I'm going to go over to Texas and open it up so I can observe the real-time behavior of the system. Okay. Okay, over here in Texas, I'm going to open my COM port, which in my computer is 26, and set it up in scope mode. All right. Now, this is running too fast, and so I have to slow it down. And so I'm going to go uh, F7, uh, no, F6, okay, function F6, function F6, function F6, function F6, maybe one more, uh, one more. Okay, so I've uh, I changed the scale of Texas display uh, so I can observe uh, the real-time behavior. Now, again, it toggles, so even though I sampled at uh, 10 hertz, the resulting wave uh, will be exactly 5 hertz, okay? And so in that way, uh, we have, we can see that the, um, that the time when the period is high and the time when the period is low uh, is exactly um, uh, 100 milliseconds, at least to the accuracy of text display. All right, we'll shut that down and let's go over and show you the hardware. Okay, uh, over on the screen here, uh, I have my solution, okay? Um, and the part that you have to do is only this number up here, which is displaying the distance. And again, uh, the distance is defined to be the position of this uh, slide pot. So as we slide down here, uh, we're going to see that the, uh, the number on the screen uh, matches the, the um, the position of the slide pot, okay? And so if I go to, um, if I go to uh, uh, 0.6 centimeters, it shows 0.6 centimeters, all right? Uh, let me show you one of the fun features. You can see I plotted it. And uh, within this, I can sort of demonstrate the Nyquist theorem. And so if I were to wiggle the slide pot very slowly, okay? And I'm plotting the data on the screen. Now, you don't have to do this, but, you know, you know me. i got way too much time and not enough to do. So I, here I am oscillating the position in a sinusoidal fashion. And you can see that the numbers on the screen uh, accurately represent the position, okay? Because I, in this case, I sampled it at 10 hertz, okay? Now, if I, uh, if I wiggle this very fast, okay? All right, let's try wiggling very fast. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. You can see it no longer accurately represents um, the, the true value. And I've uh, produced aliasing, and I've uh, overflowed it. All right, so now I'm done with Lab 8. Go ahead and have fun, uh, uh, and we'll see you online.